in this tutorial, we're going to do further or exploration of the this kind of block shadow 3D extrusion text effect. Uh, we're going to be recreating this look here on the left where it has the appearance of a recessed centers of each letter with a, you know, a couple of uh, kind of striped layers with a shadow uh, look on the ground plane here. So in order to achieve this look we are going to start with a uh, kind of a thicker font uh, in terms of the letters, just having just a thicker width so that we can get uh, a good uh, indication of this kind of cut out recessed area in the letters. Uh, it wouldn't work too well with thinner, like a thinner stroked letter. So uh, if you want to recreate this, just find a font that has just thicker width to the, the letters and yeah we can go ahead and get started so I'm going to start by giving it just a just a base gray color just so we can see what we're doing here and the first thing we want to do is create this top outline uh, for the letters that's going to kind of hide all of the various elements underneath it uh, so, in order to do that in Corel, we're going to go over here near the bottom on the toolbar, and we want to use the contour tool. And we are just going to do an outside contour and just play with your uh, contour offset here uh, just to get a uh, good good thickness to this this border here um, you just want enough thickness but not you don't want to close off the the shapes uh, around the, the letters so we'll just bump this down yeah we'll go with 0.11 inches on mine uh, yours is gonna depend on how big your your text is uh, on the uh, design you're working. Uh, once you have that done, you're just going to hit Control K on the keyboard to separate the objects. So now that offset object is completely separate from the font. The font's still intact in case you wanted to change your word or whatever you're working on. Uh, we're going to just add a white fill to this and just for the time being we're going to just give it a stroke by right clicking on the black here. Uh, this is just so we can see what we're doing on the next step here. Uh, in order for the next step to get our kind of inner extrusion recess look we need to trim out the this original uh, the original word and letters from this uh, offset here so select your your font then select the ex offset and up here at the top we just want to trim and that will give us our letter outlines and once you have that, uh, hit with the that trimmed offset. Just hit uh, Shift Page Up to bring it all the way to the top. Now we want to create this orange layer here that gives us this cut recessed look here. And in order to accomplish that, we're going to select our outline here and back in the same tool fly out here we want 
to use the extrude button this time. And you can do this dynamically with it selected. Just click and drag and hold. And for right now, it doesn't matter where you're dragging to. We'll fix that in a second. By default, the extrude to tool gives you a kind of perspective extrusion. We want to change that to an isometric extrusion. So up here at the top, under the extrusion type, we click this arrow. And we want this bottom left one. That'll give us just a straight isometric extrusion. So once you've done that, come back down here and click, click and drag on this little X here. And if you hold down shift, it'll snap into, I believe, 15 degree increments anyways. But if you go uh, to this bottom right corner, that's your 45 degree extrusion. So we'll just give it a little bit there. Um, and you can, you can check to for sure that it's uh, at that the correct angle up here in your uh, extrusion settings here they should be the same with one in negative um, anyways you want to play with your the depth of it so that you get a good kind of recessed look um, like you wouldn't want, you wouldn't necessarily want it to go that far, just because you you start losing that recessed look. It just becomes a little too hard to read. So we'll we'll bring that back in a little. Um, yeah, that, that looks good. Once you have your uh, extrusion depth set at the the length you want, again on the keyboard hit control K and that will separate your uh, extrusion from the outline into separate objects and uh, uh, once that's done we'll just give it our our orange color here by just copying the fill and then hitting control R to duplicate the last action and uh, looks like because the because the outline here has an a stroke on it the extrusions also have a stroke so we'll just right click on this X here to get rid of that so we only have the fill uh, once that's done we want to create just this extra little striped extrusion. Uh, in order to do that, uh, we want to uh, we're going to use our block shadow tool, but we need to uh, actually let's do this here. So, with your outline selected, go back over here to the toolbar and click on the block shadow tool. We'll just hit negative 45 into our angle, and we're going to move it all the way to the back just so we can see how far we're extruding. Uh, we're going to move that and shorten it. Point four. Yeah, so I like that that amount of. Actually, we'll go point four five. Mm, yeah, we'll go point four. Uh, once you have that done, again, hit Control K on the keyboard to separate that block shadow extrusion from your outline, and. Right now the outline is sitting behind the orange extrusion for it in order to get that last step accomplished. So we'll just 
click the, the outline, white outline again and hit shift page up to bring it all the way back to the top. Uh, last thing we want to do is get our, uh, well, actually first we will give the colors, um, actually I want to do this, go like so. We'll add this color to that, and yeah. So we're going to select that last block shadow extrusion, and we want to create our shadow by using the block shadow tool again. Go again at negative 45 angle, and give it. Eh, a little bit more lengthy shadow this time. Yeah, I like that. So hit Control K on the keyboard, and we want to make sure that our extrusion is black. And then we, on our transparency tool, we just want to set the multiply to something like 75, or actually 60. Just to so it uh, well, actually let's give it seventy. All right, now that we have our uh, shadow done, the last thing is we want to just get rid of the black outline around the white objects here and. Yeah. Uh, yes. One thing you may notice with the extrude tool when you don't have an outline on the extrusions, sometimes you get just kind of this little artifacting where the, the two objects don't butt up completely. So in order to uh, remedy that. If you click the orange extrusion parts and go up to the top here and we want to ungroup all and then we want to weld all the objects. So now these pieces are it's just one solid piece here. And uh, This is yeah, this is uh, okay since I want these extrusions to be just solid colors. Uh, if you were going to have like different uh, shades of the orange for under the underneath parts, the horizontal parts versus the vertical parts, then you would have to manually go in and on each part or extrusion part and. Uh, weld them individually just to keep them as separate objects. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, the yeah, I'm going to. So the last thing I want to do is is to darken this this color here. So we'll just double click on this little swatch down here, and we'll just. Darken it up just a little bit, just so we get that that effect to pop the 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 word on top of it. Uh, but yeah, once you kind of have these steps down, you can apply this to virtually any any font that you want to use in your design. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see, I think. I'm not sure which one I like better with the darker recessed or the lighter to give to kind of blend with the background color. Um, I think we'll, we'll stick with the darker color. Um, yeah. I uh, hope this little tutorial was fun, inspiring, informative, 
if you uh, enjoyed it, found it useful, hit that uh, thumbs up button, uh, like, subscribe, share, leave comments down below on other like future tutorials you'd like to see. Uh, yeah, happy uh, designing.